Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Hawa Shakir. Welcome to another episode of the Muslima segment of the Ramadan Mutahir Show. Today we're going to be talking about modesty. Before we get into it, I'd like to tell you about personal hijab journey. So growing up in Lagos, my parents were very intentional about teaching us about Islam. But I guess they felt I was too young to know about covering my hair. So they allowed me to wear what I wanted to wear. But they never failed to let us know that we are Muslims and this is how Muslims do. But the hijab part, they just felt like it wasn't so necessary at this stage. Anyway, we moved away from Lagos and moved to Abuja. Then I started seeing people cover their hair and I asked my mom, why are they covering their hair? She's like, Islam is in your heart. You have to pray to Allah. You have to do your five daily prayers. My dad was very particular about us praying. So I moved on to the university. At that point, my dad knew I was getting mature. So he was always telling me, try to cover your hair, okay? Then I remember the first hijab he got for me. It was a pink hijab. He knows I love pink a lot. So he bought something he knows I would actually want to wear. So he encouraged me to wear my hijab or if I wanted to just wear a cap, just make sure your hair is covered so you can identify as a Muslim. Of course, this was, I was a bit older and I was in university alone. There were lots of challenges, so it was, kind of, it was a bit tough for me. But I pulled through, covered today, open tomorrow, gradually. So when I got into law school, I remember my roommate Zara. Zara told me, you cannot go to class wearing a long skirt, long sleeves, and leave your hair open. That's not nice. Cover your hair, even if it's a turban. And that's how I started wearing turbans. I became so used to it that if I open my hair, it's like, gosh, I'm naked. Like, I'm totally naked. That's how I started covering my hair. And then it became a thing where on Fridays, I would tie a scarf. And Zara would say, why would you tie a scarf and not carry a veil? And I'm like, leave me alone now. She, my hair is covered. She's like, no, complete the outfit. Then I started carrying a veil. And that's how I got used to it. So while we're still talking about modesty, I would love to share a hadith of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It says, Verily, there is a special morality of every religion, and the special morality of Islam is modesty. MashaAllah. For a lot of us who are trying our best to dress in the lines and teachings of Almighty Allah, especially in the modesty department, I would like to urge you to take it easy on yourself Congratulate yourself for your little wins and growth and continue to pray to Almighty Allah to help you keep improving. Making dua, finding the best role models for you, conducting personal research are some easy tips to help you through your modesty journey. Not everyone will have a Zara like me, but you can search for a Zara yourself. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you for tuning in today. See you again same time tomorrow. And please follow us on our socials at the UMA Network, I would like to hear about your modesty journey.